Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. So you're probably wondering, why am I sitting in an empty swimming pool? A couple days ago, we had a particularly nasty storm here in Costa Rica, and there used to be this big kind of tiki hut, I think they call it, and this is our pool bar, and it came down. This big structure, which has been here for years, uh, I actually had it built, I think, three or four years ago, and it came down and it actually landed in the swimming pool. So there's certain pros and cons of living on a tropical beach in Costa Rica, and I'm not complaining. I, I love living here, uh, but when I came here, I certainly didn't know about some of the cons. So today I'm gonna show you the realities of what it is like to live on a beach in Costa Rica. Let's get into it. So the first thing you should know is that anytime you live near a beach, you are going to have a rust problem. Anything that's made of iron is not going to last very long. But here in Costa Rica, the temperature is so extreme. The weather just constantly changes. One moment it can be really hot. The next moment it can be pouring rain like you've never seen before. And all of that changing in temperature with all the moisture in the air and all the salt humidity, it just means that iron will rust super far. So these uh, poles that we have on the fence here, this is one of the worst one, but every year or so, the really bad ones we need to cut out, replace. We're constantly painting these. So this one definitely needs to be cleaned up, but iron does not last long here. So here's another example. These gas torches I had put in, this was not one of my finest ideas. So I had these put in about three years ago, but in three years, that's what's happened. Part of the problem is they heat up, they've got the flame coming out. So because it's always hot and then cold, hot, cold, with all the salt in the air, it's just not gonna last. I mean, look at that. It's just completely going through it. Now imagine what the tailpipe of your car looks like. So if you're gonna park your car on a beach in Costa Rica, you're gonna live there, make sure it's covered. And you can also get coatings put on if you take it to an auto dealership where it will help protect all the iron elements. Now, another thing they don't tell you is that anything electrical, including lights, will not last long. So yet again, we're having to replace these floodlights. Even phones, laptops, any of these kind of electronics, you've got to be careful. A lot of people will buy a dehumidifier and they will designate a room in their house as the dry room where they store all their electronic goods. Because once the moisture gets in, they won't last as long. Now here in Costa Rica, they've got close to 6% of the biodiversity of the world. There's more biodiversity here than any other country in the world. And that is because if you look down here, here's an example. This was grass just a few months ago and all these weeds, this is just in a few months, have completely taken over. It needs to be mowed and, uh, and probably some spray on this grass as well. But this is a great example of just how quickly things grow here in Costa Rica. I'm from Australia and that was the biggest thing I noticed when I moved to Costa Rica. If you put something in the ground, it's going to grow, which means that your uh, gardening expense, if you have a big lot, uh, expect it to be high and expect there to be a lot of work. The vegetation will literally swallow everything up if you don't control it. Now, even wood will not last as long here as it will in other parts of the world. So this is a great example. This tiki hut you see here, you've got wood going into wet beach sand. So of course, anywhere around the world, that's not gonna last very long. But here in Costa Rica, with all the humidity, wood, it just will not last as long. So these started falling over at some point. So about a year ago, we had to put concrete around the bases just to make them stronger. Now there are some woods like hardwoods, which are actually really good building materials here. So some of the original structure of this place, it's still the same wood that's been here for several decades. So hardwood is generally okay, but the softer woods anywhere near the beach, they will not last long at all. So here's a great example. This is soft wood on this fence. I'm about to have this replaced, but look at it, it just crumbles away. So that's what the salt and all the moisture does. 
even rope doesn't last long. This is less than one year old. This is meant to be weatherproof rope and look at it, it's just completely deteriorated. So the weather, the salt, it just kills everything. Another thing you gotta be conscious of is mold. Okay, so during the rainy season, it really starts to get bad and it's not a big deal to remove it. You just need a water pressure cleaner, but every couple of months, you gotta be washing everything down, including pavement. Now, please don't think that I'm complaining. I really like living here. I'm just making the point there's definitely pros and cons. And so you need to be on top of your maintenance here. Electronics, iron, all those things won't last as long. But an interesting bit of trivia, this is known as a blue zone, Costa Rica, which means that they have a greater percentage of people living over the age of 100 out of just about any other country in the world to become a blue zone. So while things might not last long here, they have a great lifestyle. People tend to live a little bit longer here. And you're gonna to get to see that when you come here for a seminar vacation in 2021. So I look forward to seeing you here and we'll speak soon.